And we're back with some more playtesting. In this video, we're going to be showing um, Trevenant Selgor with Dusnor uh, gets Kangaskhan, uh, Kangaskhan fairies, pretty much. Um, that seems to be the best way to run uh, for Aromatis is with some Xerneas to power up your Kangaskhans and then tech in a few other things like a Mewtwo. I think you have teched in Verizian, maybe? Um, to get rid of conditions. And then Trees is just pretty much straightforward. It's pretty much the exact same death as Excelgore Gothitelle. They just took out the Goth and put in Trevenant since it's a stage 1 rather than a stage 2, so it's much easier to get up. Now you don't have to play your candy. And that's pretty much the only difference. Um, so pretty much going for the same thing. If you can get the lock, you're great. If not, you lose. Um, so, first thing is we already have a Shellman on there, and we're going to be Junipering anyway, so nope, that's... Beach. Oh, never mind. Save the uh, Trevenant in my hand. But unfortunately, I drew five supporters. Which is never a good thing. Nope. Alright, his turn. Now, I don't believe he had a fairy energy in his hand, or he would have attached it to his active, so he attached a DCE to his Mewtwo, and Ultra Ball, probably for an Aromatist here. You had a very strong turn one, though. Who did? He did. Yeah. He got the Spritzy out, he got his, you know, main, he got the Xerneas, oh, nice! And his last card in his hand is Jirachi. Most likely go. Oh, he decides to go for the end. Thank so you. So that's great. And I draw a spectacular hand. All right, and he's going to Geomancy here, getting two energy on play. Start getting that Kangaskhan loaded up, and that Mewtwo is looking nice. But we are going to explode with a pretty big turn of our own. Getting down to more basics, evolving into a Selgor, Skyloft, Level Ball, probably for another Phantom. And retreat to Trevenant, get him trainer locked, and beach. Yeah, the this deck's biggest weakness is just early. Early pressure from things such as Landorus or Mewtwo or a double dark patch evil ball. It really can't keep up with really early pressure. If you can get a T1 knockout on something, then chances are, unless you have a fantastic hand, you're probably not going to win that game. But we do see a very angry Mewtwo <laughs> coming at me. But luckily, Trevenant is weak to dark, not psychic. So he's asked to mm. commit all these energies to Trevenant to X-Ball me. But luckily we have one in reserve. So evolve into Trevenant. DCD. And he doesn't really care because there's no way you can one-shot him. So no. you, even if you lock him, he's just going to be able to move that energy off. Dowsing Machine for the Floatstone. Really, there's not anything he can do. Uh, with this full bench, he... Yeah, I mean, you're just going to use Dustnor to just take all your prizes at the end, not let a... If he techs in a Verizian, um to get rid of status conditions, which I doubt he does, considering we're not seeing any blends. That um, his bench is full. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, is that I don't think he's really got anything. So as long as you can keep the lock up, you're fine. Mm -hmm. And it's just a matter of uh, really just keeping that Mewtwo active. But keeping the lock up is... Easier said than done. Ultra Ball. Let's get a... Sh well, I think I go for a... Yeah, an Aselgore. Yeah. You have to. Aselgore and N. And we didn't hit the DCE. So, we are going to... Well, that to really sucks. And yep. your hand is just god-awful. Oh, yeah. And this is actually an old list, you can tell, because it still plays uh, Super Rod instead of Sacred Ash. So Evo Soda and Dusclops and Ultra Ball. Get another Shelmet down. There we go. 
and beach. Except for not having another backup tree, you're still... Nah, I retreat to Shelmet. Give him, give him trainers for a turn. Because I didn't have a Fanta up on the bench. Yeah, this, uh, I didn't draw too well this game. But, uh, the Shelmet definitely will be going down. Unless he plays, like, a Pokemon Catcher or, like, a Lysander or something. But he's going to move all of his energy back to his Kangaskhan to save the energy, and he's just going to X-Ball the Shelmet for 60. Yeah, there's no reason to leave all the energy on Mewtwo. Nope. And N. Which I'm perfectly fine with that. Trees! Exactly. And that DCE. And just waiting for the expo. Nope. Oh. Okay. We're gonna he's save got him the more band. energy. So knockout, but he's trainer locked again and he is still poisoned. DCE, fence Phantop, and Chorus. Hmm. Didn't really get much there. So we just retreat and deck and cover for the knockout. And bring up Trevenant. Take out the level ball and the DCE off the prizes. Now, inter interesting decision here. He brings up the Xerneas, and I believe he's going to X Blast me. I think is that one forty. Yeah, yeah, I think it's X Blast. Which uh, I, I mean, I don't know. That makes sense. He can't take out uh, your Trevenant any other way. Yeah. Um. And right now, your bench is looking pretty dead from his point of view. Oh yeah. I mean, he knows you have a level ball, so you can get a Shelmet out, but that's, uh, you know, he doesn't know that you're holding two trees. So, um, this is, this looks, this looks pretty bad, to say the least. But we're going to get the trainer lock back up, and we're going to level ball for a Shelmet. And just put a DCE on it. And chorus. And that's a much better hand. Still didn't get the dust one, though. Well, you don't have any damage on the field to move around anyway, so there's really no rush right now. Um, Unfortunately, Aromatist gets to move the energy around, and he can just max potion the damage off. And yep. pass. But not with that tree active. Of course. Yeah, unfortunately, I think on the prizes I would have gone for another tree rather than the DCE, um, knowing well, that two I are prized. Know, I know I dis I uh, discarded one at the beginning of the game, and since he can't X blast twice in a row, he goes for the the kindred kick and he flips tails. Oh, that sucks. Yep. So DCE. you got saved by a coin flip. Well, I wouldn't have knocked me out anyway. He needed a muscle band and to flip heads. I'm still wondering where his Mega Kangaskhan is, because that's pretty much what makes this deck work, is Wham Bam Punch, and you know that 230 HP, moving the energy off, max potioning it, not unless you can one-shot a Kangaskhan. Well, when you, when you Mega Evolve, you do get out of uh, Paralysis, but then again, your turn ends, and I just I'm, realize you... Well, I'm, I'm not even talking about just getting out of status conditions, just... This deck is has to have Mega Kangaskhan, well, so where is it? What he's trying to do, he's trying to apply so much pressure that I can't... My deck can't function. And if he gives up that crucial turn where he Mega Evolves, then that, that's going to be the turn where I just set up my Dust Nora and get my Selgors going, like, like I have here. No, but he's already given up, like... He, you've paralyzed him at least three times yeah. now. So that's what I'm wondering is, is his Mega King, does he only play one? Or is both of them prized? 
Maybe. Any any of those turns that he just had to sit there and pass would have been a perfect opportunity to Mega Evolve since he couldn't do anything else anyways. Oh, yeah. So I'm just kind of confused as to where that big Kangaskhan is. Does he play it? Is it prized? Are we going to see it? Because that's, that's pretty much what's losing him, the game, right now. Because if... Uh, if that had been a Mega Kangaskhan, the Wham Bam Punch, you know, one heads would have just definitely knocked out those uh, trees. I and... did not want to draw that a cell door. So we're just gonna move all we're gonna move all the damage back to the Jirachi. Take two prizes there. And, and he, he gives up. <laughs> so pretty much how it would have gone, take the two prizes, bench some trees, uh, or a tree and a float stone, whatever you would have decided on. And the lock is pretty much up. Um, you unfortunately you didn't hit a Mew, but yeah, um, like, like I was saying, without his Mega Kangaskhan, he can't just rely on X blasting. That's uh, he had to get that Mega out to have any chance of winning this game to be able to one shot you. Yep. So that's pretty much it. Um, you're probably gonna see some trees at nationals. More than likely. I mean, it did win last year. Yeah. So uh, stay tuned, and actually probably coming up soon, I'm going to have a hollow energy uh, video coming up because I had a huge back out after I pulled everything and made a huge list. So Thank you, guy. Yeah, I uh, might as well promote them in a different way, so stay tuned for that.